Hello, my name is Marita, the deadly tarantula girl, and I made a mistake. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. 24, 7, all I do is procrastinate, procrastinate, Melissa. People always brag on how good they are on externally sexing tarantulas. And I've done it before, but I feel like it's more of a guess. I had this beautiful lady here and I was pretty sure she was a gal by judging the legs and the abdomen and all of that and what do you know she molted out into a beautiful handsome he. Let's take a look at that molt. So here is the molt and I did already um, examine the epigastric fold in which I saw that it was um, sadly lacking female genitalia which in the spider world does indefinitely mean it's a boy and good news is he molted into a very beautiful jet black male which is fun to look at but as you might imagine boys can't reproduce by themselves so that was a super big bummer in case I haven't said, this very handsome dude is an Aphenopelma moderatum, one of my favorite North American species. They are quite colorful. You can even see the malt that this, what I thought was a lovely looking girl, turned into a very handsome boy. Male and females are both very beautiful. They are some of the more docile species being New World. They do possess urticating hairs and like all tarantulas they are technically venomous and so I do not free handle unless there is a dire situation like an animal getting ready to fall or something terrible about to happen during a breeding or something like that but I have tools that I use such as tongs of varying sizes. I even have really big ones that I use to pull the molts out or to separate during breeding which you'll see in pretty much any reproduction video that I do. Yeah, big shout out to this handsome buxom male. That was a big surprise and I am delighted that I now have a beautiful male, Aphrodopelma moderatum. All right, big shout out to Zilla for sending me one of these awesome enclosures. I absolutely love these. They sent me some of the prototypes and they have been spectacular. I've had them set up for a year or two now and I have not had any problems with the bands getting frail that hold the enclosures together. All of the locking mechanisms have stayed strong and contrary to what some people believe, this is a wonderful size for an animal this size. This is a medium sized tarantula. I am keeping him on vermiculite. Yes, I said it, vermiculite. For desert dwelling species in the desert, I find this to be the most beneficial substrate for my animals. And what do you know, I had an animal grow up and reach adulthood and thriving on vermiculite. Also, I haven't decided exactly what to do with this guy since I do not possess a mature female. If you have any ideas on what I can do with him, please comment that below. And also thanks to Coldest Water for keeping my crew and I nice and cool now that it's getting to be summertime in the desert. I'm loving this bottle. They do customizable designs where you can have your personal name or your business logo. And I am loving this bottle. It does keep things cold or hot for about 36 hours. <laughs> so nice. The bottles also come in some really beautiful colors. They sent me the white one, which was the one I wanted. So kudos to them. Loving this bottle. Love my handsome new Moderatum, as well as the Zilla enclosures that I have. Love to everybody out there, and I'll see you guys soon.